How to use the Firefox browser Windows 10. File and edit menus. This video describes all commonly used commands on the file and edit menus. Please note, the videos in this playlist, How to Use the Firefox Browser Windows 10, should be watched in order from the channel page. Instructions for visiting the channel page are given at the end of this video. File menu. The new tab command, there's several ways to open a new tab. You can click the new tab command, or you could press control T, or you can click this plus sign here to the right of the currently open tab. Firefox opens showing some recent websites that you've opened, and you can select one, or you can enter an address to select a totally different website. Let's open CNN in the new tab. The advantage of tabs is you can switch back and forth instantly between the tabs. The disadvantage is you can only see one tab at a time. To get rid of a tab that you've opened, click the X box. You actually can create a new window from a tab by dragging the tab name from this line here onto your desktop. Just left click and drag that to the desktop and you will create a new window open in the Firefox browser with that web page. There's an example. I dragged it down onto the web page we were on so that it would still be recording and you can see that it has opened a new window that has CNN in it. And you can close that window by clicking the X box. The advantage of the new window command opens a separate window in Firefox to the same page that you're already on, but that's an independent window. So you can take the two windows, you could resize them, put them side by side, scroll around independently in the two windows, navigate to other websites. It's very handy if you need to be able to see two web pages either in the same website or in different websites side by side so you can compare them. And again, you can open the new window several ways. You can click the command here, new window, or you could press control N for new window. New private window works pretty much like the new window except it does not keep a record of the window in the history file on your computer. Open file command lets you navigate around on your computer to open a web page file that you've saved on your computer. The web page file will need to be format HTM or HTML. Save page as lets you save the current web page on your computer. You can specify name, you can navigate to tell the Firefox where to save the page. Email link sets up to send an email that contains a link to the current web page. You have to fill in, of course, the address of, that the email is going to. You can add any message you want, but it already has the address of the current web page in the email. Page setup gives you some control over how the page will be printed. You can select portrait or landscape mode or change the scale or shrink the page to fit the page width on the paper. Print preview shows how the web page would print on the actual page. There are options at the top of this page where you can do a shrink to fit or you could change the magnification prior to printing. For instance, that's showing how it would print if I reduced it to 30% of its original size, actual size, magnified it a bit. Notice that when you magnify it a bit, the uh, lines have been broken at different places by the uh, processing for the print printing. Notice also that now it takes two pages to print. When you shrink to fit, it only takes one page to print. There's the bottom of the actual paper, how it would print. If I were printing it in landscape mode, 
it would look like this. If I were printing it in portrait mode, it would look like that. The actual print command or control P, you can select which printer you want to use, whichever ones you've installed. I typically use either the color printer or the laser printer. You can say whether you want to print the entire document or certain pages of the document if it's more than one page. And you can also print several copies of the document. Or you can even print to a file instead of to actual paper. And exit will close the browser. The edit menu, most of the commands on this page will not work on the on a web page but since you use them in a lot of other programs I'll go ahead and explain what they are anyway. The undo command will, un will reverse the last edit command that you did. If you cut something it would restore it. If you pasted it it would undo the paste and so forth. Redo says I changed my mind when I did an undo I want to do it back. So if you undid a cut and then you a redo, it would cut again. Cut command, if you have highlighted text on the web page, copy command would make a copy of the text on your clipboard. Paste command, you can't paste onto a website. You could paste it somewhere else in a different document if you copied from your web page. Delete command, again, you can't delete from a website. Select all will select everything on the web page. So you could then copy it and paste it somewhere else. Find command. When you do the find command, it lets you type text at the bottom and will locate it on the currently open web page. So let's find something that we know is there. Miscellaneous, M-I-S-C for miscellaneous. That's scrolled down on the current website to where it found the letters M-I-S-C. As you type, it will scroll down or will highlight the first place it finds the combination. So if I went back to the M, it scrolls down to the first place it finds what you've typed, which is just the letter M. If you type another Let's say we we're going to type MapQuest. So we found it the first M, but let's say MA. It gets a little tricky if, it, if the letters it finds are in a link. So now I've typed P, M-A-P, and it highlights the first area on the page where it has found those letters. Let's try another combination, M-A-R. There's the first place on the web page where they, the letters M-A-R occur. So that's how the find command works. Find command works on a lot of different types of files, not just browsers. That's the end of this video. Here are several ways to visit the Tom's Tech Notes channel page.